click on that problem area, we're meted, met with a trend right away that tells us exactly what's been going on through the months. It crossed the yellow, very sharply crossed the red. We know we're in trouble and we want to know why. Now, a trained analyst is going to drill down to the spectrum and start doing his own analysis. But what we've done here is we've written an algorithm, much like Shazam is for music. Uh, it is going to read the spectrums that have been taken throughout that time and tell us what it thinks is wrong with the spectrum and what it thinks is wrong with this asset. And you can see we get a nice picture of our measurement point um, and what asset that we're measuring here, which is a spindle. Um, a very high speed spindle. So let's click on the fault detection button and let's see what it has to tell us. It immediately visits us with bearing unacceptable. So it, it, it's telling us that we have to plan for bearing failure. So let's drill down as an analyst and look at that spectrum and its trend and see if we agree with what our computer uh, model has told us. And we're also visited with a nice waterfall plot which we can click on and blow up and look at over time which we can see our bearing defect frequencies has started very low here in the beginning uh, way back in 2014 and progressed very high as things went along so that's a nice feature there as well uh, to conclude what the algorithm is telling us and our trend is telling us the same thing we crossed the yellow uh, back here at the date and the amplitude I can see back in 2015 and now at this point we're all the way way above the red so this is a very late failure we should have probably looked at this long ago before uh, this was measured at these points and this is a late failure and should be immediately acted on but let's click on the last spectrum and look at this spectrum and see that we do which we can zoom in on these spectrums as well and see that we have an extremely high bearing frequency uh, pyramid going on here, which is very typical. And we're, uh, if I click back, I can see my overall is 10 plus Gs. So again, this is a late failure. And now we've detected a problem that we can act on and we can immediately uh, put in a work order, uh, do a measurement report here, or even a machine report uh, right from the web app. Uh, because anytime you drill down, whether you're on the point, you can do a point report. Whether you're on the measurement, you can do a measurement report. Or back to the machine, you can do a machine report. And I'll click on that so you can see how that looks. Machine report will immediately pull up a report that I can email out showing our trend over time of what's been going on, the photo of our asset, and what's been going on as far as it's starting out way back in 2014 is good into the danger level all the way to the spectrums that it puts together and I can email that right out uh, to a subordinate or to a customer or what have you. Uh, we thank you very much for your attention. If there's any more questions at all, please reach out to us on the web at www.gtipredictive.com or reach out to us at our number at 603 Six six nine five nine nine three. I thank you very much for your attention.